Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, baseball collector and... Baseball collector wife here. Julie. It's my wife Julie. She married me 20 years ago. Crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're here just to open a little mail, but... Because you got a care package. Mm -hmm. But this is your first video since we, since we redid the card room. What do you think? I like it. It has a lot more space for all of your stuff. Yeah, bigger desk. Bigger desk. A little bit better use of the space, a little more wall space opened up. and No more Josh Hamilton wife beater in the back. That's true. Oh, no, Not child beater. Child beater. Uh, thanks for helping me with all that, by the way, getting the room ready. And so the other thing is a lot of these people that are watching this have watched my video from yesterday where I got the Mantle Rookie. And a lot of them are nominating you for sainthood for letting me get that card. So, hmm. yeah. That's pretty awesome. Oh, no. I said earlier that there was a light shining. It's my halo. See, look. <laughs> but seriously, you, you support me a lot, and it means the world, and it makes all this possible, because if you didn't, I wouldn't be doing it. So I really appreciate it, honey. Thank You're you. You're welcome. I love you. I love you. Okay, so, so care package. We got a care package. So I got an email uh, last week. What is on that side? Mike, Mike and Julie, Julie Mail Day. Mail Day. That's what it says. Mike and Julie Mail Day. And uh, so I guess it's for both of us. But George... Uh, who's a big Red Sox fan. Um, I'll put a link to his channel down in the description so you can go check him out. But, uh, you all right there, kiddo? I'm trying to open it up. Let so she's opening, and uh, we're just going to see what he sent. He said, I got some stuff for you and Julie, and apparently that's true. It's a big old box full of stuff. So what do we got here, babe? Holy cow. <laughs> oh, we're going to need it. We're going to need a knife. This says, Julie and Joy... Good girl. Wow. Look at that. Okay. There's some more bubble wrap. Uh, that's okay. Norman will grab that and choke and to death. And this. Okay. Let's start with. Oh, that's for you. That's for Mike. You. For you. Mike for me. Okay, so do we want, let's do the, you want to do it individually or do you want to, it's like Christmas, right? We shouldn't open at the same time. That's no fun. Oh my goodness. Well, I think we take turns like you do at Christmas time. Okay, that's a good Although, idea. Although, I don't think that... Mike, little something for you, George. Oh, Ooh, what do we got there? Well, that's for you. Okay. You know why? Well, hold on. Oh, here we go. You like notes? I like notes. You like notes. Mike, I enjoy your channel. Julie is great when she is on. Just a little something for you guys that is sent for you. Would look better in your PC. In your PC. Thanks. Thanks, George. That was really nice. And you take care too, George. All right, why don't Thanks you open this up first? Okay. Is that all that's in the box? Uh -huh. Okay, I keep the notes because I keep the notes from everybody. Because I say notes are nice. Notes are good. This is fun, huh? This is fun. So this is all your, that's all your stack. And this is my, my stack over here. I'm afraid I'm going to yeah. hurt something. You want me to help you? He used, he did use blue tape, which we always say use blue tape. Oh, really? Yeah, because it doesn't. Comes uh, off easier? Comes off easier. Like that. Man. And it's also helpful. It doesn't hurt the beard. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> it's not like getting waxed. Not quite, thank goodness. I'm gonna start opening some of my stuff over here okay. so we go a little bit quicker. Well, I think this is a, Oh, what is this? This is super cute. Oh, Norman, hush. It's a, it's a bear, it's a teddy bear. Here, let me help you. It's trash. Mm. Is it a cow bear or something kind of bear? I think it is. It's a, it's a Cal Ripken Jr. Oh. Uh, beanie, not Beanie Babies, like but what are these things called? I forget. Can I? Remember look? when we were, yeah. yeah. I don't want to hurt him. Just pull them out. They're, That's what she said. Just pull it out. Sal, Salavo, Salvinos, and Bammers. Oh, Cal Ripken Jr., 4th of July, the Iron Man of the Grand Old Game. Cal's a great American original, but you don't want to throw him a slider over the plate. Nice. Look, he's so cute. You cannot touch this thing, Norman. Yeah, he'll chew that chew up. Chew that up like no other mother. Woo! Thank you, George. Oh, he's like 
look, he's so cute. He's even sits like this. Yeah, he's gonna stay he's in our room. Is he gonna? Can he find a place in the room here? Yes, he can find a place in the room. That is awesome. Okay, that's cool. That's, that's all so yours cool. too. So I'm gonna. Okay, you go. I've got just some cool cards here. You just sent me a bunch of top loaders with some Ranger stuff. Nice stuff. Oh, I don't know if that was for me or Julie because Lou Gehrig's Ooh, my favorite player and Cal Ripken's your combo. favorite player. And look, wait, put it back up. Oh, okay. It's on the right side. Yeah. Magic. Ripken's on your side. Mm -hmm. Cool. Rediscover tops. Ooh, Juan Gonzalez gold. More Juan Gonzalez rookie cards. Awesome. Dean Palmer. Little Diamond Kings action. And a 74 tops. Larry Gura. Hey, what do you got? What does he have? Uh, oh, the ball. Okay. You guys sent me a 90 upper deck. Juan Gonzalez yeah, rookie card gone, and a one gone. 88 star Juan Gonzalez. That's awesome. Okay, your turn. Your turn. Iron Man, Cal Ripken. What is this? Do I open it? I think so. Die cut edition. Maybe. Oh, Ooh, that's gold. cool. Gold. So these are the things they use to make the cards, right? No. Oh. Those aren't printing plates, but. Well, darn it. It's but it's pretty neat. an autograph. No, it's not autographed either. What is that? Well, it's a facsimile autograph. So, but it's still neat. Well, that's really cool. That's it's super in awesome. In honor of his 2,632 games. Cool. You got a little uh, magnet, so maybe you could take that to school and put it on your maybe on your refrigerator at school. Magnet. Cal, he's so cute. Look, it even has an up close picture of his face. That's awesome. Glad you think so. Okay, okay what's that? Oh, uh, this is a another big card yeah. of him sliding. Can we hold it for you yeah. while you over my face so you can pretend like No. But look at him, he's so good. Yeah, there he is. Oh, see, he's so good. Very cool. And then he sent you a whole little binder. <gasps> oh, look at those blue eyes. I'm telling you. Yeah, he's oh. uh He's a hottie, let me tell you. He is a hottie. I mean, I think he's. I think it's because of your blue eyes, darling, mm -hmm. that he's so cute. Sure, you keep telling me that, babe. Look at that. This is so fun. Oh, was he totally young in there? Cal Ripken, did you know? MVP, Cal Ripken. And, man, I got a fat stack here from George, too. Good grief. This is awesome. Look at all these. Man, I mean, I have to start rebuilding my Juan Gonzalez collection. I was just thinking that you... Because there's a ton back. of Juan Gonzalez stuff in here. And Did you know, on June 15th, 1989, versus the New York Yankees, Cal and Bill teamed up on a triple play, the first by the Orioles in more than 10 years? I did not know that. Wow, this is just tons and tons of great Juan Gonzalez cards. This is tons and, that's and tons, tons, and tons and of, of great, great Cal Ripken, Cal Ripken card. cards in... A handy dandy binder. How cool is that? Binder. That's awesome. Man, I got I got a, the start to a nice new Juan Gonzalez PC again. You know what Look, PC means? Personal collection. Yes, very good. Not politically correct. Nope, that's not what it means. <laughs> this that's is a awesome. beautiful card. Look how handsome he is in that yeah, one. Yes, Tops Gallery. I need to get that Diamond King's autograph. Lots of cool stuff, man. What do you really think, honey? Cool. Thank you, George. You can sit and stop looking at Cal Ripken, seriously. Well, why not? I mean, look. Look at those thighs. <sighs> I know. I love you, too. All right. So there you go. You got a bunch of cool Cal Ripken stuff. I did get a cool Cal Ripken stuff. Oh, I love the teddy bear. That's so cute. What do you tell George? I said thank you, George. I know. It's you, really You can awesome. never say thank you enough. Thank you, George. And I love that we have a note. The note is the to key. To go with it. It's awesome. So, man, thanks so much, dude. Uh, I got a whole bunch of other mail that I'm going to show off, so I'm going to do that right now. How and many videos are you going to have today? Just one. This will be it. I'm just going to combine them together. Two pieces. Like us. Like us. A perfect fit. <laughs> that's right. God, that's so cheesy. Um, all right. Let's get to some mail. You can say bye if you want. Bye. Is that it? Just bye? Goodbye. And keep collecting, y'all. There you go. All right. 
All right, guys, here we go with some just regular mail. I got a bunch of stuff to show, so I'll try to do it as quick as I can. I got some eBay pickups, some stuff from other YouTubers that I bought, and then a bunch of stuff that I got at Mike's. I mean, I got the mantle, but I had, I'm had. i just sitting there walking around. Of course, I'm going to buy more stuff. I mean, come on. There's so much great stuff in that shop, and I couldn't resist, and I got some great deals, so we'll go over those as well. First up here is a 1970 Topps Jim Bunning autograph on card. I didn't have any Jim Bunning from his playing days, and so this was on eBay really cheap, and I wanted it, so there you go. There's that. The next few cards are some cards I bought from JT, Triple Crown 24. He is uh, kind of becoming a you know super dealer and he had some stuff that he was trying to get rid of. Every time I talk to him, I feel like I'm always buying cards. And so he had some 92 Ultra autographs that he was trying to get rid of. And I was more than happy to oblige. So the first one I picked up is future Hall of Famer Roger Clemens. Yes, he will be in the Hall of Fame someday. Uh, maybe not this year. Not looking good for this year. But for sure, he's going to be a Hall of Famer someday. And I just love this card and love the 92 Ultra. Just a huge fan of those. The second one from that set that I got from him is this Tim Raines. He is a Hall of Famer. Love that. He also did a deal with me for this one. A nice, beautiful Ryan Sandberg autograph. Great TTMer Ryan Sandberg. Then I got a couple of slabbed ones from him as well. The first one here is Mr. Cal Ripken, Iron Man himself. Beautiful autograph on that. PSA DNA. And the best one I think that I got, the, the one I'm most happy about getting was this one. And that's the Tony Gwynn. I mean, ever since Tony Gwynn passed away, his autograph has become more and more popular. This is a beautiful card. The only thing I wish I could change about it was that it's black ink instead of blue ink. But what are you going to do? No complaints for sure. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thanks, JT, for doing the deal on that. Next up is a bunch of stuff that I got from Mike. While I was at the card shop, looking around, hanging out, the first one I'm going to throw you a curveball because it is, and I'm going to hold it up, because it's not a baseball autograph. It is a football autograph. And these are the Upper Deck Master Collection. They were these super high-end products that Mike had a bunch of. And last time I was at his shop, I bought a Tiger Woods from him. And so I really needed an Emmett Smith autograph. I didn't have one in my collection. And being a huge Cowboys fan, especially from the teams in the 90s, this was kind of a out there just haunting me to get an Emmett Smith autograph. And so I got that for 100 bucks, which I thought was a really good deal. And then number to 20, by the way. Then we got a ton of vintage baseball stuff. So let's just start going through it. First one here is this nice 1966 Topps Carl Yastrzemski in a five. Again, I'd love to get, you know, sixes and sevens, and he has all that stuff. I just, you know, I'm trying to be smart and, and make my money go as far as it, as I can. And uh, so, by the way, all the vintage that I'm going to show you that I got from Mike's, I paid a total of $200 for. So, I didn't necessarily price out each card, but put a bunch together and then, you know, gave a price and that was that. So, got this one. Uh, just love it. Just a great example. Then we've got another 66 tops here of Al Kaline. Also in a five, but really nice example of the card. Next card's kind of always, I thought has been funny. I hadn't owned one yet. So this is a 1963 Topps Rookie Stars featuring Gaylord Perry. The funny thing about this card is he's here on this, you know, four floating head rookie card. But he already had a rookie card in 1962 by himself. So it cracks me up that Tops would then include him in the 63 top set with other players instead of by himself like he was in the 62 top set. So this is definitely not Gaylord Perry's rookie card. That was in 62. But cool card nonetheless. Glad to own it. Another Hall of Famer off the five decade set or whatever the heck it is now. I'm doing four decades. There's a 63 Tops. Beautiful Don Drysdale and a PSA 6. This is ideally the grades that I can get, but again, it just depends on the cost. You know, trying to stay reasonable and 
make the money go as far as it can. There's another 63 tops Warren Spawn. Beautiful Spawny card. One of the greatest left-handers of all time. Also in a six. So the way Mike has his cards laid out in his shop is it's kind of by player. And so in his showcases, he'll have a bunch of Warren Spawn cards or he'll have a bunch of Al Kaline cards. And so I just kind of go through and go, all right, which ones do I need? What am I looking for? And I already got the 66 that you saw. Here's the 62 K line right there. Then we've got a 61 top spawn. You already saw the 63, so I needed the 61. Another five there, beautiful. Next up is a non Hall of Famer card, but I couldn't resist it. For It was in kind of his let's make a deal box and I just threw it in at the end on the package deal that we did. So I essentially got it for next to nothing, really. But it's this beautiful 1960 Tops Jim Cat rookie. I didn't have this card. Jim Cott, I think, has a pretty good shot of becoming a Hall of Famer someday. And he's, he's in the future Hall of Fame rookie card, post-war rookie set. So wanted to, been wanting to add this for a while, just had never pulled the trigger. And basically getting it thrown into the deal, I couldn't resist. So there's that. Next up is getting into the 50s now. Here's a 1959 Tots Brooks Robinson. Now this is a good collector grade of a five. Anything in the 50s, a collector grade would be a five and uh, or higher. And so there's that. I did a lot of examples of buying the card and not the grade. And here's one of them that I did. This I just saw this card and I was like, that's only a three? That's freaking gorgeous. Love the color on all the all-star cards from Tops. They're just fantastic. They're really, really great. And so this one, even though it's only a three, is, is just really, really beautiful. And uh, so there's that. Ernie Banks. And then I got another Ernie Banks. I got the 58 Tops here and a four. This one's really pretty accurately graded. There's something going on right there in the middle of the card. But it's not like completely distracting. It's still a, a great example of this card. One more that I got from Mike's. I'm just going to hold this one too because it's sideways, but I'm, I loved this. I just saw it and I was like, oh, love it. 55 Bowman, Roy Campanella right there. It's just awesome. Beautiful PSA 5 there. Love the 55 Bowmans. It's been getting a lot of these lately and I just love them. Such a, such a cool baseball card. Beautiful. So that's it from Mike's. And uh, got a couple other eBay pickups that I got. These are definitely by the card, not the grade. Got some other 51 Bowmans as I'm working through the 50s and just picking up Hall of Famers when I see them, especially when they're cheap like these. I mean, this is only a three, but look at that card. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's really a great example of this card. Very, very well centered. The problem with this card and why it's a three is the corners are just completely smushed, but that's okay. I mean, I love the card. I, I wanted to have one, and so... This will fit just fine in my collection. The next one is an even better example of that. And that is this Robin Roberts right here. And this is also a 51 Bowman. And it's all, it's a two. But when you look at it, I mean, look at the colors, the registration, everything is just beautiful. The centering is okay. It's not great for sure, but it's, it's okay. Uh, I think what gives it a two is you've got something kind of going on right there in the card and, it's not that big a deal, really, because of the blue-black background and clouds. It's just not that distracting. But on the back, when I was kind of looking at it going, God, how's that a two? If you look kind of right in here, if I get, the, get it angled right, you can see there's some kind of surface wrinkles going on on the card. Definitely got some issues with the corners on the back and everything. So it's, it's most like it's properly graded. But for me, it was just one of those, man, it's just such a great example. It's so pretty and the cost so cheap that I had to buy it. One last eBay pickup and then I'll be done with this. And that is this awesome 1940 play ball, Larry Lajouet. Nap Lajouet, as he was called. One of the great players from the early 1900s, late 1800s. Uh, just amazing ball player. I'm down to like four or five cards that I need for the 1940 Playball Hall of Famer run. This was one of them I've been eyeballing for a long time. The buy it now prices though on them are so high and this one came up in auction and I just jumped all over it. So, so happy to add that. 
So there you go, guys. That's all the mail for today. I know it was a lot. Let me know down below maybe what your favorite card was, what you thought. I really appreciate you hanging in there and watching. Hope everybody has a good night and keep collecting.